Happy are you, Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, through whom we have been saved and redeemed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to this Saturday Mass of Our Lady. Welcome if you're participating via the internet. We invoke Mary's prayers for the people of Ukraine and for the peace of the world. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the image of the unseen God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the firstborn of all creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the head of the body, the church. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your faithful, who rejoice under the patronage of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, may be freed by her motherly intercession from all evils on earth and merit the attainment of eternal joys in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. If any of you is in trouble, he should pray. If anyone is feeling happy, he should sing a psalm. If one of you is ill, he should send for the elders of the church, and they must anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord and pray over him. The prayer of faith will save the sick man, and the Lord will raise him up again. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. So confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, and this will cure you. The heartfelt prayer of a good man works very powerfully. Elijah was a human being like ourselves. He prayed very hard for it not to rain, and no rain fell for three and a half years. Then he prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the earth gave crops. My brothers, if one of you strays away from the truth, and another brings him back to it, he may be sure that anyone who can bring back a sinner from the wrong way that he has taken will be saving a soul from death and covering up a great number of sins. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Let my prayer come before you like incense, O Lord. Let my prayer come before you like incense, O Lord. I have called to you, Lord. Hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer come before you like incense the raising of my hands like an evening, evening oblation. Let, Let my prayer, prayer come, come before, before you, you like incense, incense O Lord. Lord. Lord, set a guard over my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge. Spare my soul. Let, Let my, my prayer, prayer come, come before, before you, you like, like incense, incense O Lord. O Lord. God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. The Lord be with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, 
O Lord. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to touch them. The disciples turned them away. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. I tell you solemnly, anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Then he put his arms round them, laid his hands on them, and gave them his blessing. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray now to our Heavenly Father. We pray for the people of Ukraine and for their government. For those leaving the conflict. For those who are staying to fight. For an end to this aggression. For the coming of peace. For the international community as it responds to this act of war. For wisdom and discernment for all those in authority among the nations of this earth. For the church in Ukraine and for the church in Russia. For the witness of Christians to peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For this community and town, with the gospel in mind, we pray especially for the children at our parish school and for their parents and carers. We give thanks to God for those who have a vocation to teaching, especially in church schools. that they may be places where an encounter with the living Christ is offered. Our intention for prayer today is the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham and those who are members of our parish cell of the Society of Our Lady of Walsingham. As we think of Mary at the foot of the cross embracing her son suffering, we commend to her prayers and to the love and mercy of God those we know to be in need. Among them, Tony, Mike, Anne, Claire, Julie, Pauline, Jill, Tony, Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Cara, Maria Teresa, Derek, Beryl, Sharon, Dorothy, Evie May, and Shirley. And we pray for the souls of the departed, especially in years mind for Henry Percival Burgess, priest. So we commend the living and the departed to the intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage, 
we may ever be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself, and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, my brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of blessed Mary, the mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Lord. You are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. 
This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again, and so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. John the Evangelist and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come on earth as it, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, Lux Dodia, Vita Amen. The Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. Behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we, who have honoured in veneration the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may merit to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.